Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. So today we're resuming back to my routine. Um, so today, as requested, I'm going to do a video of how to foam roll. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into details. I'm gonna go ahead and do an, uh, a voiceover so you guys can kind of see exactly how I use a foam roller. So guys, if um, you have never used a foam roller, I would recommend you watching this video and also other videos. I would usually recommend watching maybe like a physical therapist um, that is certified, but this is how I do it. I know that when you're doing the foam roller, you're not supposed to um, foam roll your lower back. So you will see in this video that I'm only going from my mid back upper and then the rest of my body. So if you're interested of watching how to foam roll at home and to kind of, you know, don't spend so much money you know getting massages because remember that's only temporarily I usually recommend using a foam roller I usually do it every other day and no more than five minutes five seven minutes so the one that I have is here I will link it at the bottom so you guys can see literally the uh, it's completely faded away but it's Lux Fit Premium and I've had it for about almost two three years so I will link it at the bottom so you guys can uh, Get it if you're interested. So if you're interested of how to foam roll at home, then stay watching. So, all right guys so that is the end of this foam rolling session as you notice I use a foam roller to foam roll my upper and my mid back never use your foam roller for your lower back um, I usually just stretch it out 
Um, if you're interested of what to see what stretches I do to stretch out my lower back or my whole back in general, then comment below and let me know if you're interested. Um, so yeah, the foam roller, I used it for my glutes, for my hamstrings, my calves. So when you're doing your calves, there's three parts to it. So make sure that what I did was I kind of like moved myself side to side and then foam roll is kind of going deeper into that knot and then releasing it as you foam roll it as you go up and down or back and forth. So yeah, those are the areas that you can use your foam roller for. Me personally, I only use it for my upper and mid back and my IT band. That is it. Um, I usually like doing stretches um, for those other areas, but for my back, seriously, I am always using it every single day to um, undo those knots for my back. Um, if you are starting to exercise and you're noticing you're completely tight, you always want to do one or the other. Either you stretch or you use a foam roller. You do not want to be not stretching because that is what causes a lot of injury. So just make sure that you're proactive in either stretching always before or after your workouts and foam rolling as you know as you get home you want to foam roll because remember you are exercising and everything gets tight and you want to, those muscles to loosen up you don't want them to get tighter and tighter um, that's why a lot of people feel a lot of body pains and never feel like they're recovering from a session or a workout and that's because they're not stretching enough so anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys soon peace